was a little odd break, uh, but I wanted to bring up this digital file. So more appropriate to nothing traditional tra traditional about this one, uh, all digital. Uh, of course, maybe the beginning is sketching out thumbnails and ideas in a sketchbook. But as we move in and here, then we start to see the that randomness that might we might love with a pastel or oil brush becomes a little bit more regular and uh, becomes a little bit more predictable. Uh, it, it feels, uh, it has more of a feel of that there'd be some kind of algorithm behind it and it's not just the, the chaos that happens with, you know, with how much how much humidity is in the air and what the paper is doing, you know, traditionally speaking, and if your pastels are the hard or soft pastels, or they have a little bit of pastel dust from another pastel on them, and you, and uh, you know, maybe you're, you've uh, you've had a little too much coffee, and your hand is a little you know, a little twi twitchy, and the way you put it down, so on, you know, in a traditional sense, it can have this kind of this randomness and this chaos that that can make you can frustrate you or can create some you know happy mistakes and it's a wonderful thing about working traditionally now working digitally you can that can happen but not as easily as not as fluently because there is this uh, unif the there there's a controllability and a uniformity to to the marks and you can work at making them less uniform by adding in different textures or marks over marks or trying to add in a jitter on a, on a brush stroke that turns the brush around, moves it, and does some odd things that are a little bit unpredictable. And that does work and it does help, but you are taking still another few steps away from uh, making, trying to make some of that random chaos happen, some of that, that idea of, you know, the unpredictability. But, you know, um, I... As we zoom out, it, it does start to hold together, and it's fun to do, it's fun for me in terms of uh, making, trying to make some of that texture and where it's appropriate or, or getting rid of it where it's not appropriate or creating uh, the different values and shapes that might suggest forms. I'm, uh, I'm big into uh, starting with abstract uh, shapes and forms for composition and motion. Uh, I believe that those are the, those are the first things that we visually key into. And uh, you know, I, that it can happen so easily with a, you know, a coffee stain in, in the real world or seeing something, you know, on, on a water stain on a concrete wall that looks like Elvis or something like that. But digitally, you takes a little bit more of work and steps to, to make something uh, be more suggestive and let your subconscious take a role in it. But that's, you know, I don't want to belabor that point because it just takes a little bit more work and it can't happen. But it's one of the, it's one of the big differences between uh, working traditionally and digitally. So as we, as we zoom in, as actually we should zoom in really close and you can see the, the way that it's broken down into its pixels. And as I said, if, uh, if I took the other piece, uh, the Astro Girl piece, and, and we were able to go in with a camera, then a microscope, and then an electron microscope. We'd go in and go in and go in until we saw atoms, and we could even break that down. Um, but a digital piece is only as much as its resolution. That probably doesn't really matter that much, especially, you know, it's not to me and, and not to the people that I'm doing uh, the work for, for the book covers. But it's a, it's a notable kind of philosophical difference. You might want to consider, and and I do. the The other part, the, the I think some of the, the final points that I would make uh, is the, you know, and this is purely financial. You have an original that you sell to a publisher, and they pay you, and that's great. And you still have the original, and then you can also sell that original to someone. And so, in essence, you can, for the most part, you could basically make double the amount. Um, it can be argued that I could sell prints of the digital pieces, but and and I would have to sell quite a few to make up for, I'd say that price point difference between an original, uh, but it, but it could happen. But I don't actually uh, work at selling prints very hard. I should probably try and do that. Um, but the, you know, getting to a convention or a place that you can 
make all the it's the effort of of endurance of trying to keep the prints fresh in people's people's uh, you know awareness that they're they're out there for sale that they want them uh, as with an original you just you know you need to convince one person or, or hopefully just expose them to it and they're convinced and then you sell it and again these they're good for what there's no bad there's no good there's uh, are there's are they're both bad and they're both good uh, in in different ways but there's no right or wrong about it when you're doing it it's another tool digital is another tool and traditional is another tool and I firmly believe that you should use both um, I will state though uh, that in the beginning when learning uh, when you're in school very important to start with the traditional work it's a great foundation uh, for learning, understanding color, mixing as much as much as I could. Um, uh, working physically, as I said, that body and motion, that connection with the, the paper, the canvas, whatever you're working on is, I think, very important to your connection to your work. It might sound like a bunch of nonsense to you, but it, uh, it, 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 I don't feel that myself. I feel that was very important, and I think that it opens up horizons for you that you're not just thinking within the, 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 the frame of the monitor and what a digital program, you know, what it can do for you. You want to be thinking about what you can do with those tools. So anyways, thank you for listening and, um, and looking forward to seeing work from you guys.